Hey everybody, so today we're going to be looking at um, this MacBook that has this issue. You go ahead, turn it on, and you see the circle with the line through it. Sometimes it'll actually flash, it'll show the folder icon sometimes, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll actually just stay at the folder icon for a bit. I already did make a video about this model, which is the A1708 non-touch bar. Why is that important? Why is the non-touch bar important? Because these models are usually covered under a type of a warranty for for service program for the SSD. But I did already confirm the issue that this there is a problem with the drive itself here. But I do have a video already talking about that, how to go through disk utility. I'm not going to repeat on this one because it's already in that video. I'll link the video down in the description down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. But I did find something that was actually pretty interesting. I found it also in that video where there was a comment down below that said something very interesting. And I'll actually bring it up here. It's a great video. Thank you so much. So I'm dealing with the same problem. I have a 2017 MacBook Pro non-touch bar, 2 Thunderbolt port, 128 gig. A1708 that I bought in October 2017. I tried to see if I was eligible for the service program and I was denied for the website in the Apple Store. I asked them why they didn't qualify and they said they did not know. Later, they told me that the service program only gave free service to update the firmware on the SSD and not on a replacement or repair coverage. They update the firmware themselves there and they're not actually replacing the drive, which is interesting by itself. So if you read it, you can see about the, they went through disk utility, that they went through all the steps. And they have a few replies there, and we're not going to go right over that. But if we actually go over, I have my other tab. So if you're interested, there is a website. You can go ahead and check it out. This is 13-inch MacBook Pro um, Solid State Drive Service Program. So it's interesting. It's a solid state drive service program. So, all right, and you go to support.apple.com. Make sure you always go to those websites. Don't go any third party because you'll get scammed for sure. But look at this. This is interesting. The serial number you entered is not eligible under the, this program because either... It's not affected in the serial number range. Our records show that your drive array has been serviced. Our records show that your device is no longer eligible for free service at this program. If you have any questions, please contact Apple. So that's really interesting. So let's just keep reading and actually seeing, <laughs> actually see what it says. There's a little bit more to this and it goes into the service process. Your 13 inch MacBook Pro will be examined. Obviously to make sure you know they don't get scammed. They wanna do that. And now this is a really, really funny one. And I love this one. This is the best one is prior to service is important to do a full backup of your data because your drive will be erased as part of the service process. A technician will run a utility to update your firm, your drive's firmware, which will take approximately one hour or less. So that's pretty much confirming actually exactly what the comment said on our last video. And that's what they are doing is actually updating the firmware for it. And then it says your your 13 inch MacBook Pro will be returned to you with macOS reinstalled. After service, you will need to restore your data from a backup. And we know if we click that link, we know where that's going to go. And that's going to go restore your data from a backup, which is a migrate assistant if you have a time machine. So if you have a previous backup, then this will be totally fine. You'll be okay if you have a previous backup. But most people, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have an issue with the operating system. You're going to be running updates. You might not have that backup completed yet. Maybe you don't have enough storage. Maybe storage is full. And then you get this all of a sudden. So if you need to get your data, there is a way to really do it. If it's kind of stuck in this loop, we have, we have bootables of High Sierra, Catalina, um, those things so we can extract data or use a separate operating system so we can look at the hard drive and see and peep to see if there's any data that's left on them. We can do that as a backup. A typical client at their home is not going to have these tools just available to them. They're just going to have a problem with an update. They're going to have a problem. They're going to go to a store and say, I didn't make a backup because I don't have a time machine or the time machine was hooked up or did a partial backup that didn't have, um, or we didn't have iCloud. And they're pretty much telling you, I guess that's too bad. So the firmware tools aren't obviously available to absolutely everyone. So we have to go ahead and do a drive placement, which is gonna go ahead and fix this model. If you go back to the top part of it, actually you can see what it actually is impact is this has determined that a limited number of 128 and 256 gig. We want to avoid you guys getting the same issue again by getting a 128 and a 256 gig because any official one that are on the market most likely have that same problem and it's going to go happen again. So we recommend getting at least a 512 gig. It might be a little bit more expensive, but hey, you get a lot more storage and you can actually get a storage upgrade, which would be really cool. Then we can most likely transfer your data over, do that for you guys, have you guys on your way. You guys won't have to worry about this problem happening um, over again. Future proof itself, everything's going to be all right and dandy. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. found this video very informative. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Learned something today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.